What's the difference between seeing this traffic lights in China and this traffic lights in China? How about this? By airing ads in news, reporters risk advantaging one candidate over another and increasing the impact of an ad's unexamined misinformation. The solution? When airing stories about the impact of ad buys, show multiple ads on screen at the same time. Has run its ads more than 68,000 times, nearly 80% of them attacking Mitt Romney. An unusually early flurry of negative TV ads. When debunking deceptions in ads, avoid airing the analyzed ad full screen. Instead, preview, distance, disclaim, displace, and recap. Create a category of story that carries the expectation that it will treat the accuracy of political ads. Give it a title, a logo, and a regular place in the news broadcast. The Como for Problem Solvers will be putting political ads to the test. In these stories, distance the audience from the manipulative advertising by boxing the ad in a television screen and canting the screen. Approaches the fall, expect more of this. Disclaim the content of the ad by using contrasting print in a distinguishable font size and color to identify the ad as a political ad. We have a very large uh, elderly population. Soptic is featured in a new ad by Priorities USA Action, the super PAC supporting President Obama's re-election. Displace the deceptive content in the ad by putting simple print corrections up on screen and having the reporter speak the corrections as they are synopsized. Worked at Bain after 1999, so implying that they were his companies is false. Worst job record since the Depression. But that's not true. And always be sure to recap these stories. The national debt is so large, according to data from the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, for two main reasons. Audiences will see the manipulative ad many times. The corrective news, once. Using a clearly recognized format, a clear forecast, a clearly structured presentation, and a clear recap will increase the likelihood that your viewers will remember your correction.